today, September 26, at the Edith O'Leary Senior Center in North Reading, Massachusetts, we have just finished our pancake breakfast with fruit pancakes, sausages, orange juice, coffee, and tea. We serve pancake breakfast every second and fourth Friday of the month at 9 o'clock for only $3. Today, we have a special guest appearance from Reading Municipal Light Department. We have a guest, Jane Parento, who will be presenting ideas for energy efficiency and conservation in your home. Good morning. It's my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker this morning. This is Vinnie Cameron from Reading Municipal Light Department. Vinnie? Good morning. Uh, number one, thank you for uh, giving myself and Jane Parento, the RLD, the opportunity to speak to you this morning. Um, I'm Vinnie Cameron. I'm the general manager of the Reading Municipal Light Department. Um, we serve, just to give you some background for those of you who may not be as familiar with the RMLB as, say, by the Webbers who used to work at the RMLB, um, and is retired. We serve four towns. We're owned by the town of Reading. We serve North Reading, Reading, North Reading, Linfield, and Wilmington. We serve half, about half of Linfield. Um, we're the biggest municipal uh, electric utility in the Wayward because we do serve four towns. Most municipal electric utilities serve one town. Um, we're governed by a uh, board of five commissioners that are elected by the uh, residents of the town of Reading. We also have a citizen's advisory board. And the citizen's advisory board was started in the early 90s. Uh, this, it's made up of uh, a representative from each town. And then there's an extra representative from the town of Wilmington because the town of Wilmington constitutes about 60% of the overall um, sales of the RMLB. So uh, the Citizens Advisory Board, they, um, they have recommendation power to the RMLD's Board of Commissioners. Uh, the um, Citizens Advisory Board member from the town of North Reading is John Norton. I'm not sure if, how many people are familiar with John. He's very active in the town, I understand. So there's, a, there's an issue that comes up that needs attention. Uh, certainly you can call the light department, or you can call, talk to John Norton, and John will funnel the information to me. Uh, in the past, John has gotten comments from people in North Reading, and he's talked to me about different issues, and it's, a, it's kind of a good way to get the message from a resident of North Reading, or a resident of, the, of one of the towns to me, is going through the Citizens Advisory Board. That's one way to do it. Um, the last thing I want to talk about before Jane comes up and speaks is, that the RMLD is a very energy conservation conscious uh, entity. Um, we take energy conservation very seriously. Uh, Jane's group, the Energy Services Div Division, is responsible for, largely responsible for the energy conservation efforts uh, of the RMLD. We also have customer specialists that answer questions uh, for residential customers. Um, we're going to, in the, starting this year, we're going to enhance that effort step it up a little bit more, and uh, Jane can talk about that a little bit when she comes up. But um, if you do have questions, and, uh, additional to the information that Jane will provide to you today, call the department if you have questions about energy conservation or how we can help you streamline your energy usage at your home. So with that, I'll introduce Jane. Good morning, everyone. Um, we were asked to come here and speak to you about some energy conservations and ways that you can use energy more efficiently. As Vinny had mentioned, I'm the energy service manager, and what our department does is we buy and sell the wholesale power that supplies the four towns that we serve. Um, so we're always looking for good deals out there. Um, as you are well aware of, we've been impacted by the global uh, cost of fuel rising. Not only are you guys hitting uh, the gas pumps and the oil pumps, uh, your oil tanks and, and all your costs are increasing with food. Uh, unfortunately, we're not uh, 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 we're not able to avoid that cost. So our, our fuel charge has gone up considerably. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to provide our customers and new ratepayers with ways that 
um, you can use your power more efficiently. We're trying to do the best we can to keep that cost as low as possible, especially with our fuel. It's a pass-through. The, the light department makes no money on the fuel. We go and we buy our wholesale power and we pass those fuel costs. Uh, we also have rate bases which we use to operate the, the power and that is indeed going up for the first time in 15 years. So that's going to be effective October 1st. So we're very conscious of the effect that this is having on all our rate payers and what we're trying to do is provide you ways to use that power more efficiently. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you people have grown up and you use your power efficiently. Uh, we grow up in a day where everything um, is taken for granted. I have small children and when I come home from work all the lights are on in the house and there's nobody in the room. Um, however, when I was growing up and my parents were growing up, you people are much more conscious about shutting things down. And that's the, the best way that you can do it. If you're not using a computer or you're not using a printer, shut, shut the uh, electronic appliance down. If you're not using lights in a room, shut them off, put them back on. It's much more efficient than leaving things on. Uh, one of the other options is, um, and I don't know if a lot of people are aware of this, but when things are just plugged in and they're off, they're actually still using some power. So one of the suggestions that they have is for people to buy the power strips that you can plug in multiple appliances, and on those power strips there's an on and off button. And if you were to shut that on and off button off, that appliance would not be using energy in the off position. So that's another helpful suggestion in terms of using things more efficiently. Um, in these bags we've provided you with um, compact fluorescent bulbs. This is the new technology. Um, they're the curly Q bulbs. They use about 75% uh, less electricity than your regular incandescent bulbs. And if every household was to change these out, you could see a dramatic savings. I believe like electricity accounts, uh, lighting accounts for a little less than 20% of your usage. So if you're able to replace these, um, the incandescents with these <laughs> CFL light bulbs, um, you'll see some additional savings. They're supposed to last longer. If they don't, you can bring them back to the, the place where um, you purchased them. Um, but they use a lot less electricity. And if you, if you have a light that you use particularly a lot for reading or whatnot, that, those are the light bulbs that you want to change first before the other ones burn out. Um, also, if you have, um, a lot of people like to have second appliances, like another refrigerator that they use to store additional food. Those tend to be older appliances. Uh, they use a lot more electricity than the new Energy Star appliances. So if you, if you don't use that for a lot, of, uh, a lot of food and whatnot, if you could unplug that and use your regular refrigerator, you'll see some additional electricity savings on your electric bill. Um, the Energy Star appliances, right now at the Light Department, we have a program where if you have an old refrigerator and you're looking to change that out, if you were to go and purchase an Energy Star or an Energy Star appliance, uh, the Light Department currently has applications for rebates that will credit you uh, depending on the appliance. Um, it's $50 for an Energy Star refrigerator. If you were to get an Energy Star washing machine, we'll give you a credit on your bill for $50. So call the Light Department. The ladies there would love to help you fill out the information. Uh, they'll work with you and then that credit will be applied to your bill. In addition, um, at the Light Department, as Vinny had mentioned, we're trying to step up our efforts in conservation. We have a great group of customer service specialists that can help you in terms of simple little ways. I've included some, pack, uh, some literature in, in, these, in these bags for you in terms of ways to use electricity more efficiently. And I, I, um, I offer that you take a look at that at your convenience to see if little helpful hints. Um, in addition, the Light Department offers free energy audits um, for, your, for your homes. You can call the Light Department and we'll provide you with um, a trained energy specialist to come out into your home and they'll look at your windows, um, your appliances, um, just little things like caulking your windows or making sure that the heat doesn't go out. That works good for both heating and cooling. In the summertime, when you're running your air conditioners, you want to keep that um, coolness in the house and not let it seep out through all the cracks. So there's ways that you can make your house more efficient. Um, in addition, the Light Department is looking to hire a, an energy specialist who will actually help you once that energy audit gets complete. What we found is some people are overwhelmed at some of the recommendations. Where do I go? What do I do next? You know, so what we're proposing is to get someone on board who partners with different contractors, 
who, who puts on little how-to shows that maybe this individual could come in with somebody from you know, a local hardware store and show you how do you cock a window so that you can do it much more inexpensively than having to get a contractor in. We're looking to get this individual on board so that they can develop partnerships with banks to provide low-cost financing to make improvements to your home. Because what we found is people have the energy audits and they have a list of recommendations and then they don't know what next step to do. So we're hoping that this will provide added value to you, our customers, in ways of improving your efficiency. Um, let me just check my notes a little more. Um, uh, your hot water heater is, the, is a prime user of electricity. Uh, if you were to go away on vacation, they recommend that you shut your hot water heater off because there's no sense heating the water if you're not going to be there. Um, turn that down to 120 degrees. I'm not sure what, if you all know what the setting is, but if it's set higher than that, then you're using more energy to keep that temperature at that, uh, at that value. So they recommend to set that at 120 degrees. Uh, when you're washing clothes or washing dish, dishes, they recommend you use a full load instead of a half a load because, again, you're using water and resources to run those appliances whether it's the dishwasher or the washing machine. On the dishwasher, they recommend, rather than using the drying element in the dishwasher, which uses a lot of electricity, air dry them. So those are just a, a few helpful hints in terms of utilizing your electricity a little more efficiently. Uh, we've also left, uh, put little magnets on uh, in, inside the bags for you to put on your refrigerator. If there's ever a power outage and you need, uh, we recommend that you call the light department. We're staffed 24 hours, 7 days a week. Somebody will take your call and will um, get service out to you to, to see what the problem is. Uh, we ask for your understanding if there's a, a, snow, a major snowstorm and whatnot. Uh, you know, if you're able to make the call, great. And we have to um, get the big, big feeders on prior to the individual houses. But usually if we can get an area, feeded, uh, area feeder taken care of, your power will come on much more quickly. Um, so those numbers will be in there for you to contact us at any time. Shades, shades and, and drapes is another good way, a, a low cost to no cost way of keeping the warmth then during the winter time. If you have shades or, or drapes that you can close, that will keep the heat inside your house as opposed to um, evaporating, especially if you have inefficient windows. So those are just a, a little overview of some of the ways to use electricity a little more efficiency, efficiently. We have pamphlets in the bags and a, um, also a, a couple papers to kind of take a look at. And if you have any questions, I'd be, I'd be happy to answer them now. Yes? Uh, the uh, light bulbs that you mentioned there, uh, is a 100 watt bulb uh, with that kind versus the incandescent give the same amount of uh, they light? Do. And, and that's the way they structure these bulbs that I have. It's a 26 watt compact fluorescent, and it's equivalent to a 100 watt light bulb. The lighting, the color of the lighting may be slightly different, but you should find that this will provide sufficient lighting. I have them all over my house in terms of my right. my recessed um, and my 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 lamps in my house, and they do provide. Um, adequate lighting. What sometimes you might run into, if you're trying to get the smaller one, there's a there's a, a replacement for a 60 watt bulb, which is only like 13. Yeah. If you had 100 in there, that might not be sufficient. Okay. But if you use the 100 watt, that should provide more than sufficient lighting. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, I have I have a lot of those, but um, I haven't put them in the three way socket yet. How's it there's special work? ones for the three way socket. Oh, they have a special one for that. Oh, yes, See, they I do. never noticed that. Yeah. But isn't there a problem on disposal? There's, there's, there's small traces of mercury in these complex fluorescents. So yeah. you're not, you ha, um, I believe, the, I'm not sure if it's the DPW in North Reading um, that takes these, that you, you can't just discard them in your trash. You have to dispose of them properly. And, and the North Reading DPU will take these free of charge. Charles? A lot of uh, appliances come from uh, overseas and they say no more than a 60 watt bulb in this. Uh, appliance, ceiling lights, uh, uh, fans, but if I put a hundred watt in there, am I making a mistake or should I use See, one of these? If you use one of these, it's only a 26 yeah, watt bulb. Yeah. So this has the equivalency of a hundred watts. Oh, okay. You're only putting the 26, so you wouldn't be violating that. Yeah, um, okay. 
that characteristic of that liquid. But there's no replacement for fluorescent, right? Uh, well, the fluorescents are very efficient. Fluorescent, these, these are compact fluorescent light bulbs. So they're, it's on the same token as the fluorescent light bulbs. They're much more efficient than the incandescent lights. Shane, you might want to mention about this. They, they don't work good in dimmers. Yes. They, 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 it's a new technology, and, and there's certain applications, dimmer switches, that they have new light bulbs that are specific to dimmers, but you wouldn't want to take just a regular CFL and put it in, in a dimmer switch because it wouldn't work properly. I knew there was something else. Yeah? Um, how long after you buy an appliance and you didn't ask for a rebate, will they still allow it? Like, I think that we got an air conditioner for the window last year, and I'm pretty sure it's energy efficient, and I never applied for a rebate. Is okay. that too late, or do you have to do it? I'll defer uh, that to yeah, um, Contact customer service. Okay. I, 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 I can give you a number. I have some cards here. But contact customer service, and um, they can give you the answer to that. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I my air conditioner two years ago. Oh, another one, uh, we've just added to our appliance rebate the, the programmable thermostats because what we found that if people can set their thermostats so when they go to bed, they can drop the temperature in their house slightly, or same thing with their air conditioning usage, uh, we do allow a $25 uh, rebate and with a maximum of two rebates per household for the programmable thermostats. So that's a way that you don't have to remember when you're leaving for an, you know, if you're leaving for the day or something, to drop the temperature down in your house a couple of degrees. Um, you can set the thermometer so that if you have something going on on a regular basis or prior to going to sleep, the thermostat will automatically adjust, and you'll be able to save on your, you know, heating bills and whatnot. So we um, we, we recommend that if you, if you're able to go back, and go out and buy the energy efficiency thermometers, we'll give you twenty five dollars for that. Great. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, we, we really encourage you to call the Light Department and, and we're here to serve you and we appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today. I'll leave these business cards here. I'll leave them on the table here if you want to take one. We got my number on it, but if I can't answer your question, which is probably more often than not, because I only run the place, I'm not sure what's going on with the important people that actually do the work. But I can, I can certainly get you to the person that could uh, answer your question. You know, a lot of the things you said to do, we did them as we were growing up, and we knew to close the shades or close the drapes, and um, my husband closed in the front entryway, so that gets Saves the draft, yeah. thing. And he did it on the back. And we got the rebate from the government on that. Great. But, uh, everything she said, we were brought up that way. That was it's true. Times way. have changed. You oh, know, yeah. We live in a very um, type of society where it's just go, we're constantly we're going and we forget to do the very the basic things that you all have, grew up with. The only one I used to have to tell to shut the light off when he wasn't in the room was my dad. Okay. He would say, well, I might be going in there again. I said, but not right away, Dad. Exactly. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roger. You have been listening to Jane Parento and Vincent Cameron from Reading Municipal Light Department at the Edith A. O'Leary Senior Center in North Reading, Massachusetts. Join us every second and fourth Friday at 9 o'clock in the morning for pancake breakfast. We have fruit pancakes, sausages, orange juice, and coffee. And as today, a special guest speaker every fourth Friday. Call us to make a reservation by Thursday the day before for pancake breakfast at the Edith A. O'Leary Senior Center in North Reading, Massachusetts. Our telephone number is 978-664-5600. Call us today.